so far we have drawn out our wireframe. I don't really go too technical on wireframes. This is about the extent of it, right? So this is what we did in our last work session. We just sketched it out. We did a competitive audit. Now I'm gonna design this in Photoshop. The first step in designing a landing page in Photoshop is to really set up my artboard. And so I'm gonna do this for web, but the width should be 1920 because that's pretty much full width on any browser. Uh, and the height, I'm just gonna put it at 7,000 pixels, keep it at 72 DPI resolution, RGB, looks all good. Uh, then we'll go ahead and create. The reason why I put 7,000 is because it makes this really long kind of rectangle. Um, and then if it's shorter, I can crop it. If it's longer, I can, you know, it, also crop it to make it longer. So this is kind of where I'm gonna be hanging out. So now, now that I've set up my artboard, uh, there's a couple prelim steps that I know that every landing page needs, which is uh, one is the main navigation, uh, the logo area, and the uh, hero section. And so um, whenever you're designing a landing page, typically there's a content area. So 1920s, if I'm gonna build the um, thing full width, and so if I need any full width backgrounds, I should do that. But there's also a content area where I need to keep my content, uh, like text and all that stuff uh, within. And typically that content area, I'll keep at 1600 pixels. I, what I'm creating is a box. It's gonna be 1600 wide and about 100 high. And the reason why I do that is because it makes this nice little rectangle that I could center up and put at the top and set my guides to where this will be my content area on the left and on the right. And then it also helps me make 100 pixels high to make my little logo area. So now I have this header area for my landing page. So now here at the top of my board, you can see the guides where I'm gonna have my logo pretty much at the top left and I'll have my menu on the right. And so that's pretty standard for uh, any kind of landing page. Now I have my hero section, and if I want it full page, I'll probably have it 1920 by about 900. And so if I wanted to set what's called the fold, I would create this other, uh, I would make this instead of 100 pixels, I'd make this about 900. Some monitors is different, but usually about 900 to 950 is, um, in fact, let me just do this 950 and we'll call this our fold. The fold is from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen without having to scroll. So if I wanted it to cover the entire screen, it would be 1920 by 950. Um, in fact, that looks a little bit too big. I'm gonna create this to be not 950, but 900. I think most monitors will show me at that. All right, and then I'll put my fold line right there. So that way I have a pretty good guide as to what the user is gonna see uh, as a full screen. Now, I don't want my hero image to take up this full screen. I want people to, to see that there's some content below, but now, as you can see, I'm setting up my guides correctly. Now, going back to my wireframe, I have my logo at the top left, and it looks like I'm uh, a hamburger menu at the top. Place that here, and this should go here. And I want this to, to span the whole menu area, okay? And then my hamburger menu I'll put here at the top. Now, hamburger menu is just that little three strip thing that you see that you click on. Um, and the reason why I wanna do that for here is because I don't wanna confuse people with too much navigation. I just want them to show, uh, to, to see the primary um, call to action, which is the webinar. And so I'm using this little rectangle, curved rectangle, and uh, we'll do this as uh, maybe like a darker gray. And then I'll just make two of those. There you go. There's a, a big fat hamburger menu. Now I don't want it that big. I don't want to span the whole thing. So I'm just gonna, you know, merge these shapes. There you go. So now it's one and I can make it smaller if I want to put it over here. So boom, there is my little hamburger menu. And if you ever want to view what it's gonna look like full size, just go to view 100%. I click F a couple times, there you go, that's my landing page.